I was on vacation in Europe. And one early morning, I got up, just the break of dawn, and I went to get my coffee. And I was just walking down the side of the street, the small town, just kind of cruising down. And I come upon a construction site. And as I'm walking down, I see piles of rocks everywhere, and I see some three different workers sitting there. So, I, you know, I'm inquisitive. I want to know what's going on. So I walk over to the first guy and I said, excuse me, sir, what are you doing? He says, I'm a cutting a stone. I'm a stone cutter. Okay, that kind of answers, but not really. So I just see another guy over there, and there's another pile of stone, and I walk over and it's kind of, excuse me, sir, what are you doing? He says, I'm a cutting a stone, a nice and a round and a bevel and looking like this. Nobody's answered my question. And being a quintessential coach, I'm getting a little livid now. So I see this other gentleman up on the top. I said, okay, maybe he can answer my question. So I cruise on up and, excuse me, sir, what are you doing? He says, I'm building a cathedral. I said, oh, really? I said, you must be the manager or the leader. No, I have the same job as those other two guys. And it dawns on me as I'm kind of walking back to the hotel and I realize it's all how you perceive what you do. The first guy does a job, takes it serious. It's important to him. The second guy is a little more intricate. He does a job, he understands his job, but he knows it's important, the details are important. And the third gentleman sees the big picture. And when we talk about leadership and we go there today, we're always going to start with the end in mind. 